What's up, Jason here with Testo Fuel, providing you with your solution for a workout, whether you're on the go or don't have a gym available. No gym, no excuses. So what I wanna teach you is some basic principles. We've got three exercises that can help promote testosterone and growth hormone in the body without weights. How are you gonna do that? Watch and I will show you. So let's think about a sprinter versus an endurance runner. That fast, high intensity exercise is using all those muscle fibers to sprint. And you look at a physique, a lot of sprinters are very muscular. They have that big, you know, large strength in their muscles, their, you know, in their legs, upper body, and so on. Compared to an endurance runner who has a different type of frame that's, you know, more aerobic activity that goes longer term. So which one are you looking for and which one do you think is gonna promote more testosterone? You know, probably that, that high impact, high intensity. So coming at you is gonna be a workout that you can do in your living room. Uh, it can be done in a short period of time and it actually ends up helping you out because that limited amount of rest is gonna get your heart elevated and your body compensates by the whole recovery type of process is gonna create a more optimal hormone environment which is gonna to lead to more testosterone. So what we wanna do is try to fire up the biggest muscles in our body. We got our quads, our hamstrings, our glutes with a little bit of upper body. And we're gonna go for plyometrics. It's gonna be easy workout to remember. We're gonna start at 10, and then we're gonna work our way all the way down to one. Three exercises, gonna go 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, and so on. So follow along as we go. First one we're gonna do is a jump squat. We have modifications, so if your knees and your hips aren't what they used to be, get in where you can fit in, and then add that impact as you need it. So first thing is gonna be a squat going all the way down. We wanna drive our knees outward right here, so we're getting into our glutes, one of the largest muscles in the body and we wanna explode up, like plyometric, like a jump right there, driving through the heels, soft landing, coming all the way through. So we're gonna go 10 jump squats. As much as you got that soft landing, can help protect the joints. After we hit 10 of these, we're gonna go into a lunge jump. So that single leg, research has showed that isolating legs and doing exercise under that can create that hormone environment that we're looking for. So we're gonna drop back down, and we're gonna do a lunge jump, alternating sides. We wanna do 10 each side, so we got 10, 10, nine, nine, working ourselves down. Next thing, we're gonna go down to a push-up style position, but we're gonna focus on that real explosion, pushing the ground away, trying to fire up, and that's gonna create that plyometric type of effect for our upper body and our core, and then we're gonna come back up to our feet. So down in that style push-up, if you got it, try a clap push-up, otherwise, try to lower yourself down to control, and then press off the ground, press off the ground, and same thing, you got 10 of these guys, so as much as you can, if you wanna add in, clap, we're gonna pop back up onto our feet and then we're gonna repeat. So let's take it down like we're at nine right here. So we've got nine jump squats, exploding, pushing the ground away, all the force that you can, mimicking a lot of weight force. Coming down, then we're going to that reverse lunge, add that jump to get that explosion, soft landing, that impact, that muscle contraction gives you that resistance and that's gonna create that hormone environment we're looking for. So exploding off, boom, working yourselves all the way down and you're gonna drop down. You got nine of those push-ups. If you gotta clap, otherwise just pushing away. Impact, pop up. Then you're at eight, 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 seven, seven, seven. All the way until you're down to three, two, and one. Should be able to get it done in under 10 minutes. You're gonna be short of breath. Your body's gonna be playing catch up and that's what gives you that afterburn effect. It's gonna give you testosterone growth hormone. It all burns fat, gets us where we wanna go. Try it out and uh, we'll see you next time for Testo Fuel.